If you're a golfer that struggles with spin like I do, then maybe you should put down that softer, very spinny golf ball and look at something with a little more compression. What's going on rough golfers? Thank you for joining me. If this is your first time to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button if you enjoy this content. Today we're going to be reviewing the Vero X2 from Encore. Big shout out and thank you to Encore for sending some test units over for review. Really appreciate that. Normally I would not be considering a premium golf ball for any reason whatsoever because I'm a rough golfer and I do a lot of things based off of budget. Golf's an expensive sport, but it doesn't have to break your wallet. That is kind of like my mentality when I go out there and look for golf equipment. And that extends to golf balls, but I've been struggling with spin lately, guys, and I wanted something that would help combat that, you know, get a little more distance on my drives. And the Encore Vero X2 is a much harder compression ball than I'm playing now, which in theory should help with controlling those spin numbers. On the back of the box, it talks about unmatched distance and control. Pretty much every golf ball box since the dawn of time has said that. Um, the true gold standard, proprietary perimeter weighted design and ultimate performance. That is a mouthful okay it's just it, you can it, it even sounds expensive when you say it um, lower spin off the driver and higher launch combined to deliver more time in the air and incredible distance who doesn't want incredible distance i mean come on this guy does four piece design for optimized spin with irons and great wedge control around the greens and of course the premium cast urethane cover provides exceptional feel excellent durability yada 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 heard it all before will it deliver? Now this is a 95 compression golf ball. It does have the cast urethane cover. Check and check. I like both of those things. So we're going to take it out on the course and see if it will actually deliver on what's promised on the back of the box. All right, we're testing out the Encore Vero X2 on the putting green. It's got a slight clip when I hit it with the putter, but an overall soft feel, which I do enjoy. It's kind of nice for a harder compression ball, 95 compression. Greens are actually really nice today. They've got them uh, cut well. And my speed is off, but first impressions on the feel are really, really um, I think uh, some of the harder compression balls have a tendency to be a little too clippy, but this really isn't that clippy at all. Kind of got a nice pop off the face. I actually like the feel of it. Oh, come on. That's from uh, probably about 10 feet out. Now we're going to try about three feet out. All right, on these short putts, we're getting less of a clippy feel, kind of a softer thud. Obviously, that makes sense just given the distance and the uh, distance of the stroke of the putter. But cast urethane cover. Uh, four piece ball 95 compression uh, so far I like the feel on the putting green um, did some small chipping around the putting green and uh, had similar results really liked the feel off of the wedge uh, and for small chips it had fairly decent spin and checkup which I'm, I'm uh, happy with I can't wait to see what it's going to do with some of those uh, shots into the green where I'm about uh, 70 or 80 yards out just to get an idea of the feel, I like to do a little wedge bounce test, and that's going to tell me, you know, how soft the uh, ball is. And if you can hear it, it's definitely a little bit clippy, um, which I would expect out of a 95 compression. It is cast urethane cover, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So we're going to start off here on hole number one and see how it feels off the face of the driver. All right, right up the fairway. All right, so that felt fairly good off of the driver. Uh, definitely a little clippy, but uh, not terrible. Didn't feel like a rock like I was expecting. So, so far off the driver, Encore Vero X2 feels great. Got about a 120 yard shot into the green here. Let's see what kind of uh, action we can get off of the spin with this pitching wedge here. Oop, nope, went right. All right, so it felt great off of the wedge face. Uh, I just made a bad shot there. Um, not like it was too squishy under the face of the pitching wedge and not like it was too clippy or hard, which is good. So I'm getting a good, good balance there for the Encore Vero X2. 
see if we can't do a little bump and run and see how it rolls out. I've got a seven iron in my hand. Just gonna see if we can't get it up there close. Yikes, a little too hard. I really enjoyed how it felt on the practice green. I wanna see if that stays consistent throughout these uh, nine holes that I'm playing today. Also wanna check for durability and see how well these cast urethane covers hold up. All right, starting it off with a par. All right, so I'm on hole number five with the Vero X2, and so far it's been fantastic. I haven't had any uh, complaints with it. Durability, it's holding up pretty well. Uh, feels good off of all of the different club faces, especially off the putter, which is surprising. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish out these nine holes, and then uh, we'll do a recap, and I'll show you what the ball looks like uh, at the end of the nine holes so you can see for yourself what kind of durability you're getting out of these cast urethane covers. So, see you in a bit. All right, guys, so I just finished nine holes there. Definitely gotta work on my chipping and putting. Did a lot of two chips and a lot of three putts, but I'm washing the Vero X2 here, this ball, man. I'm so happy with it. It's an awesome, awesome golf ball. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash and give it a wipe and show you guys what kind of durability we're looking at after nine holes. No scuffs or marks on the ball that I can see. Um, it held up really, really well. This is that cast urethane cover, and uh, I'm just super impressed with the Vero X2 after nine holes, okay? No cart paths, no trees, just uh, club face and fairway. Let's do a quick recap on the Vero X2. It's 95 compression, four-piece golf ball with a cast urethane cover. This is gonna kinda compare to the Titleist Privy 1X. It's supposed to be a harder ball. Um, supposed to give you lower spin off of the driver and higher spin into the greens. Um, from tee to green, I loved the feel of the ball. It wasn't squishy under the club face. It was very responsive to each of the uh, different clubs that I hit from wedges, putter, and the driver. Um, didn't get too much spin out of it either off of the driver, which I was, I was pretty impressed. You know, no massive uh, fades or hooks, which uh, I'm, I'm very happy with. Now, who is this ball for? Well, I would say this is a good choice for high spin players with deep pockets because that's the one sticking point that I have with the Encore Vero X2. All that R&D, all that technology will run you $50 a dozen. And as a rough golfer, I just cannot afford to pay 50 bucks a dozen for golf balls that uh, will often get lost in a round. So uh, if you've got deep pockets and you're a high spin player, give these guys a look. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep on swinging.